so Since you're here, I'm asking you to stay I'm tryna fight my tears, I just got used to it Where's my glasses? Good morning! I have no idea what I'm doing today or what I'm recording today but I just, I'm in a good mood. Like last night, I just journaled. I don't know, last night I just got this burst of energy and I've just been in a good mood ever since. Like, not even journal. I was reading this book and it just made me look at some shit different. So I don't know. Hopefully today is a good day. Today is going to be a good day. Now, hopefully today is going to be a good day. Now, I hope you all have a good day. If you are new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. My name is Tanaya Anitra, but most people call me Tiny. I have no idea what we're doing today, like I just said. So, I can't even, like, give y'all a rundown on plans because I'm just going with the flow. And hopefully, the content comes out bomb. But, um, I'm sipping on my coconut water. What do they call this? H3. Is it H302? Or just h 30 I don't know if y'all know, but H2O, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. I'm missing like a letter or something. It's better than H2O. H2O is good for you, don't get me wrong. But if you're drinking too much H2O and you're not like getting no hydration through like fruits, coconut water, for example, and stuff like that, you're basically flushing all your nutrients and minerals, everything you really need out if you're so focused on, you know, drinking so much water. I'm trying to get into staying hydrated with stuff besides playing on water because that's not what really keeps our body hydrated, like 100%. Coconut water turns pink over time. Don't be like, why is it pink? I'm telling you, it turns pink over time. I don't know exactly why. It says it on the label. This is actually really good. To me, coconut water is like similar to the taste of milk, but just like a different texture. It's like the texture of water, but it tastes like milk to me. I let Kingston taste it the other day and he was like, this don't taste like milk. What kind of milk is this? Like he hated it, he did not like it. Let's just get up and start our day. I really just want to lay in bed all day, of course. Like, who doesn't? But actually, I do want to go to the mall today because I think I told y'all in one of the last vlogs that me and Kingston were supposed to have, like, this Valentine's shoot. But unfortunately, I ended up in the hospital. So, I had to reschedule it and everything. This is my second time rescheduling it. So, but I'm back. I'm good now. So, um, everything should be good. I just got to find him an undershirt to go with his overalls. And I got to find out what I'm wearing because it's a 2000 themed shoot it was gonna be like valentine's like with the red hearts and stuff and get some valentine props but now we're just doing it just to do it so i didn't want to waste my 50 dollars deposit yeah we really just gonna see um i might just still stick with that background because you know every day is love day in this house with me and my baby okay the love never ends so we might just like stick to that theme but not do all the little valentine's props and stuff so well we're not going to but yeah. Alexa, can you play my Apple Music playlist, please? Tanaya Anitra station from Apple Music. I feel like Twister is so underrated. Like, he really that nigga. Like, that nigga supposed to have Grammys and shit. Because who can really rap like that? Besides Busta Rhyme. And I feel like he better than Busta Rhyme. I'm 
still not ready because i've been over here just doing work trying to stack these videos up because i've been slacking hard like really hard so yeah we trying to get it together so hopefully i pray i feel like one of these songs on here is gonna get copyrighted but cross y'all fingers for me and let's hope that it don't okay so it did end up getting copyrighted so i'm gonna fix it only like a little section of the song got copyrighted so while i talk to y'all i guess i mean while i fix this i guess i'll just talk to y'all chit chat a little update on life or whatever i guess i don't know um but y'all do know i'm moving soon really excited um until my apartment is ready we're gonna be with my sister my sister is in indiana and i'm so excited because i haven't seen her in so long I, if you're new here I have three sisters that was born in the same year as me, so it'd be a vibe when we all getting along. <laughs> it'd be lit as fuck. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be up there with her. And I get to explore Indy and see what life is like up there until my place is ready. Um, so yeah, I will have to be packing up soon. Um, I'm gonna hire some movers and stuff because I don't got nobody to help me. Like, don't talk to my baby daddy. And yeah, I don't have nobody to help me. I don't really know no man for real. That I trust me with my stuff anyway. Yeah, um. Anyways, y'all, I'm trying not to cry. I'm very emotional right now. Oh, uh, I just been feeling so out of place. And it's like, I'm just, I just be praying to God. Like, asking, like, just asking and telling him to guide me. Because I don't be knowing if I'm doing the right thing sometimes. And I be looking for signs. And, ugh. I don't know if I belong here. Like, I feel like I kind of moved up here for the wrong reasons. Like, yes, I wanted to be away from my hometown just to go hard. And I feel like it definitely pushed me, definitely made me, like, see things differently and realize that I love life outside of making. I love life outside of where I'm from. But I feel like I moved here for people that I really love and cherish. And it's like... Now I'm here and I just feel fucking alone. So, I mean, I don't have no problem being alone, but I don't know. I take friendships and shit very serious and I just hate feeling played with. Like, it's just so much going on in my life right now, y'all. Like, that ain't even it. It's just so much at once. And I be trying to get up and like, like, at like everything is okay. And everything is perfect, but I'm really a sensitive person when it comes to who I love and like who I spend my time around, who I trust. So when people like play with me or don't or like don't return the energy I give, I'm trying to be a fucking self. It really do be hurting my feelings. So that is also why I'm deciding to move out of this specific area because I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't even care like to be in Georgia. If I could move to like Florida, I fucking would. Like I love Florida. I never want to go home when I'm in Florida, but I just can't do that right now. I can't do it right now. So yeah, 
I don't know. I'm just really excited to have a break from Georgia and be in Indiana with my sister. Because, I don't know. That's like, Kiana is truly like my best friend like and she gonna have my back always like I don't have to question her like even though we be beefing sometimes that's what sisters do like I don't have to question her I know like she trusts me I trust her like nothing nobody compares to a sister I don't care like nobody does so I'm just so excited to go up there and spend time with her I cannot wait to pack this shit up and go and just I just be want to be with my sister all the time like I wish that I could because we were late so where we're always on the phone and like i don't know as you get older you start to realize like well for me family is so important because people be so weird and temporary these days and i understand like it's okay for people to be temporary because everybody's not meant to stay not meant to be there forever some people are just meant to be a lesson but <sighs> that should be hurting though it hurts when it don't end on a good note you know i don't want nothing but peace and i'm trying to find it so much and i'm just praying like i just be hoping i'm doing the right thing that's all i pray for it that's all i literally be praying for i just be praying for peace and happiness that is all i freaking want like i don't know because lately i just feel like i haven't been at peace for real yes i do what i need to do but and it's not even that i'm sad i'm just not at peace like do y'all do y'all get that feeling like i don't want to feel irked about anything just cannot wait to be with my sister because when i'm with my sister friends i don't care about people who did me wrong when i'm alone i have all these crazy thoughts like when i'm i don't have nobody here and even though my family is like 45 minutes an hour away i feel like i'm 12 hours away i might as well have moved to texas like i said i was gonna do because I really should have. Like, it's no different. Why did I come here? Well, I, we know why I came here. I can't wait to, like, well, I can't wait because I don't want to get old too fast. But I can't wait to really be living my dream life. Like, I can't wait to be living in the state I want to live in with my child and just hopefully it comes sooner than later because I don't want to be the parent that pulls my child out of a school he literally grew up in. I made all these friends and then suddenly we just moved to a whole new state. You know, so hopefully like it happens in a few years. Give me like four years. I say four years. I think four years is good. Kids gonna be eight, nine then. Is that too old to be moving to another state? I think he's gonna be real hurt. I swear y'all, I don't see myself living in Georgia for the rest of my life. I don't like it here. I mean, I like it, but I just gotta make sure they real. I'm talking about I was gonna talk to y'all while I edit. I ain't been editing nothing. I just been straight talking. Okay, that might sound a little mismatch, but it's just gonna have to do because Come on, Tanaya, what you doing, girl? Now to the right part. Okay, now we don't look so mismatched. Editing is so fun sometimes. Okay, it's fixed, and we fixed it right in time because my MacBook is about to go dead. So, we're gonna get that uploaded, and we're gonna get ready for the day. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed my little TED Talk. I need some ashwagandha because usually Tanaya don't be caring about nothing. But lately, I've been becoming like real emotional over everything. Y'all, on Valentine's Day, I was so freaking sad. I woke up crying because I don't know. Like, I'm as I'm getting older, I'm learning to cherish every little thing like i don't care if you thought it was little back then cherish that shit because one day that's gonna be all you have and i just woke up on valentine's day sad because like damn ain't nobody surprising me like i felt so unloved i don't know i didn't get no freaking happy valentine's day for my dad like i don't know i was just seeing i was just on social media i was trying so hard not to be on social media on valentine's day but i was bored i was just seeing like daughters get stuff from their dads females get stuff from their partners i was so sad and then i just thought about like how the only person who really just made sure i felt loved on valentine's day was kendrick and he's not even here no more and i don't even have the stuff he gave me who knows where it ended up but i remember being just so happy and feeling so loved and even though it wasn't much because we were super young but it just made me so mad and sad at the same time because we were super young and he really went out his way he ain't even had like that i damn sure ain't have it like that i don't know i still felt special the smallest stuff and now 
Grown ass niggas can't even do that. My own dad can't even send a happy Valentine's text. I mean, it's not that I really want one from him because y'all know how he is and what he done did. But it's just, I don't know. I don't have nobody. Like I be trying not to compare myself to people, but it be so hard. Like seeing people with nice families, having a dad to back them up and do this and do that. You know, having just parents to provide for them. If they're going through a rough patch. Shit, if you want to fucking move out. People have parents, they can move out of that shit and be like, okay, I'm going back home with my mom. I just be feeling so sad sometimes because I can't do none of that. Like, it's literally me against the world. Nobody else. Like, nobody can't save me. Nobody. That's how I feel. Like, it's me against the world. By my lonely. It's just me and God. Just me and God. Literally, just us two. Nobody else. And I know all I need is him. So, I ain't complaining. But, you know, sometimes you get in that mode where you just wish you had at least a nice family. Because when you get older, like, that's all you really got. That's how I feel. Like, that's all you really got. I think that's why I'm so passionate about just my future and what i want my family to look like i know a lot of people in my comments like girl you are so young why do you want a husband why do you always talking about a family because that's what i lack you know you crave stuff that you lack you get what i'm saying and i just can't wait to have that feeling of i don't know what to call it i just can't wait to have that feeling of just not needing nobody except my family you must was in class. He always tell me something. When y'all be booking hotel, does it cost? I can't. I should look at a damn hotel. I don't know. I'm trying to see does it cost more when you add when you add uh, if somebody stay in the room with you? Cause I know it's not supposed to book hotel at my hotel. I don't me. think it should. I'm trying to see because I'm supposed to book hotel at my hotel. They don't be on. Um, like, when they have extra people with them, they don't put them on the bag. <laughs> no, I've been saying, I usually don't put them on the bag. Yeah, I don't do that either. Like, I hope y'all not watching that much so y'all remember who the fuck walking in here with me. Kiana, I'm so ready to come up there because I'm going crazy down here, bro. What happened? I just hate everybody. That's I, me. <laughs> I, I just don't like... You know I, why I move far away. I but feel so... so I feel so stupid for moving up here for motherfuckers who really don't give a shit about me. That's how I mean. I don't want to one way. I'm boring, but I have a peace of mind sometimes. People up here weird. That's what I was just telling my vlog. All I want, that's all I want is a peace of mind. I feel like I still don't have that shit. I still yeah, don't. I can't say because I'm I get still peace. getting dragged into fucking weird drama. I don't hang with people for a reason. Like, people up here, I've learned they're very weird, but you don't, the good thing about people up here, I don't have no attachment to them. So it's not hard for me to not talk to them. Like, I don't have to deal with them. So it's kind of easy to like not talk to nobody. But when you know people, you kind of do. It's kind of harder to like let that shit slide because y'all been knowing each other. Right. That's all it tells me. We ain't gon' last, baby. 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 Your intuition has been telling you things that you never knew. Rubbish photos with bitches I used to put on pedestals and still I keep it professional. Laying in the bed and you acting like I can't even touch you. I don't know why you do that. Shower with the door open while you do that. Drop the towel right in front of me. Cruise. Oh no, baby. Talk to me, baby. Say it to me straight. Did I make a mistake? And I can't concentrate while you're standing there naked. Act is strange, yeah. Intuition has been telling me, trust what you said to me. You ain't never really felt love till you slept with me. I'm busy, it's no wonder you upset with me. You find a magnum inside of my bag, don't know how to explain this. That was in that way before we started dating. It's the only music I hate facing. Oh, lay down, baby, I'ma take it slow. Can't let this thing go to waste. Oh, no.
I forgot to put some jewelry on. I feel so naked. My hands feel so naked. But we are about to head to Macon. I decided to head there because my sister's birthday is tomorrow. So um, going down there to handle some business. I really, that means I have to come back down there tomorrow unless she drives up here with my mother. Because we're supposed to be going to STK for her birthday. I'm not sure what else she wants to do. But we shall see. I don't know. She's off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I might do like a little weekend vlog and we can try to, you know, do something special for her birthday. We shall see. I don't know. But yeah, she's not going to school tomorrow. Make sure y'all subscribe to my sister's channel, okay? Um, yeah. Shame on Shame on you. Shame on you. I'm really trying to get out of listening to like violent music like that because obviously it's not good. <sighs> Why is my music not playing? Don't play with me now. This junk be acting retarded. I don't know if it's the core or my car. Like it always acts stupid like this. Like just play my song. <laughs> Count money working on myself. I've been, I've been. I hope they love you like I do. Say you love me, but you can't. For another nigga, you do the same. I'm trying to move on with your lies and with your game. I ain't tripping about that girl, I want your love. So I don't give up. We see this, we turn up. I'm following with that, that's my bitch. Bring your ass my way. Hold my thumb up, spin on the highway. Can't listen to what I say. You know I need you. So she throw it back. Now it's time to put my clothes on. Fish in your face, is I be with you. Instead you telling me I'm dead wrong Got my brown on so they won't I need you to save me No IR is text me I'm on Kawasaki I used to cry to this song And then Baby This is a mall, like, this is sad. They're supposed to be turning it into something, though. Don't tell me Petland is gone. Where are they building that was so important that they had to move Petland? Like, what is this? Oh, they didn't they didn't move pet land, but we're not gonna go in there because Kingston is gonna want a puppy and he's not getting one right now because I'm mentally not prepared for that. Say hey to the vlog. Hey. Tell them how your day been. Good. 
good? It's been good? Yeah. Kinsta says he's hungry, so we're, we're about to stop at the food court. This mall is so dead, it's ridiculous. Like, have y'all ever heard a mall this quiet? I bet y'all haven't. I, I know y'all haven't. This is crazy. What you want? I want food. But you want Chinese food, wings, or teriyaki? Okay. We're getting wings. Yeah, me and Kingston are sharing. Her. I haven't been having an appetite since I got out the hospital, so I know I'm not gonna eat a whole thing. He's definitely not. So yeah. And he's kind of sick. I don't know if y'all can tell by his nose. Where's my hand sanitizer? <laughs> Give me your hand so you can put some on your hands before you eat. Rub them together. Everybody's staring at me because it's so dead in here. And like, why are you recording? And Megan, you say you're a YouTuber. They like, what the fuck is a YouTuber? And of course, my generation, okay, like these older people, won't take their eyes off of them. The ones that are in here. Hello. <laughs> it's hot. Chicken, isn't it hot? I'm saying, it's hot from the steam. Don't do it like that. Don't just leave it in there. We ate all my food, all our food. Go up there. And we can't. It's blocked off. This is crazy. We're about to go in Spencer's. I think I'm gonna get the black heart. Let me give y'all a rundown on how, no. like, when I look at this mall, I can see my childhood. Journeys used to be right here. I forgot what used to be right here. I think a jewelry store used to be right here if I'm not tripping, like these two parts combined. That store right here it used to be Justice. That used to be Champs. Y'all, like this mall used to be so beautiful. It had little waterfalls and everything. And now it's just so dead and it's so sad because how did it make it go down like that? Like how? All these little every little picture y'all see like these walls with these pictures they used to be stores and it was so cute if i can find old pictures and show y'all what the mall used to look like y'all be like what the fuck? how did that happen now it's giving museum it's the birthday girl hey! she finna be 17 yeah Junior said, ain't nobody stunting a Shanti birthday. Can I get my toes done? Hold on. Oh, and she over here begging. Hmm. Well, 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 what's she going at? Um, can you just give me a card? You can get my card. I ain't got that much left in my chicken. I ain't got it. I'm talking to you my card. I'll draw my chicken. Girl, what she said. Okay, I'll just follow. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a smile. Yes, definitely. Why do you have to go away? Shut up, that's why you ain't got no boots. And no trust in that's a nigga after this. Y'all need some happiness again. This life don't beat on me. So I heard that you got your girlfriend a bunch of stuff for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I did. Yes, you did. So it wasn't a lot? Nope. It was little? Yup. How much was it? Six things. I said, how much was it? How much in total? Yeah. It didn't cost that much. Well, I'm really glad that I have a gentleman brother, but he don't even get me nothing. He don't get us nothing for no day. We asked for some, <laughs> but he got a girlfriend now. He all giving and giving and giving. Good afternoon, you guys. I spent my whole morning editing. Today is my sister's birthday. I was gonna end the vlog yesterday, but I like my vlogs a little lengthy, a little lengthy and I know y'all like them lengthy too. So I'm gonna take y'all with me just to find stuff for my sister. I don't know when I'm getting her, but I know she wants some flowers for her pictures. I know she don't got none, so I'm gonna go get some and try to make a cute bouquet or something. I gotta figure out what I wanna wear because I should've went shopping. I still ain't even found stuff for our photo shoot. That'll be a part of the next vlog. That'll probably be a part of the weekend vlog. So stay tuned for that because that's where I'm gonna include like her little birthday festivities. 
Um. She wants her belly pierced and she's finally at the age where she can get it. So I'm gonna take her to get her belly pierced. But other than that, I have no clue what she would really want. And I want it to be a surprise. So I don't know, but we're getting close to the time they're supposed to be heading up here. So I wanted to go ahead and have her bouquet ready. Because I know she really wanted some flowers for her pictures. So yeah. Mm -hmm. 